Good morning everyone. Today I'm doing a DIY and I'm whispering because my daughter's asleep. I feel like I'm always whispering in my videos now because Eva's always asleep when I can do my videos. <laughs> so I was gonna film this last week but I didn't have any um, printer ink and so I'm gonna use my printer instead of my silhouette because I feel like not a lot of people have a Cricut or silhouette and it would be really easy for me to do it on there but not everybody can do that and so I wanted to make a video to where if you are like I really want to do a DIY doormat but I don't have a silhouette or whatever um, I'm going to show you how to do it without that so first I um, have to put ink in my printer uh, I just got some from Staples so we're going to do that my desk is like a hot mess So this is my design. I went ahead and just lettered it myself instead of buying a font or creating a font or whatever. I just went ahead and lettered it. So if you guys want to download this one, I will have a link to it in my description. Um, so you can just print this one out and I'll show you how I print it out um, on my printer to make it fit on the mat. So, um, so first what I'm gonna do is, I think I wanna print each of them by itself. So. I think first I need to make this printer size and then do this, so one second. Okay, so I printed these out. I sized um, each one of them, like I blew each word up and then I printed each word and then this is how it came out. Connor said this looks like an R and not a Z. I think that looks like a really cute Z. Um, but so I'm gonna like slant it just a bit whenever I cut it um, and I'll fix it on the, um, the print if you guys decide to print these out. So I'll fix it and makes it, make it a little bit more slanted in the print. But for this one, I'll just cut it a little bit more slanted. So yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> And I'm super excited. And then I didn't make a plus because I think I'm just going to go ahead and like dot that myself. I don't think I showed you guys what I'm going to be using. So um, if you have those black uh, like sponges, you should definitely use that. Um, but again, I want to make this as like at home, <laughs> excuse me, at home friendly as possible. So um, one, you're, you'll definitely need a clear coat uh, eventually. Um, you could also use Mod Podge or something. You you can use a paintbrush. Oh, you'll also need some scissors and obviously you need some paper. So these are probably all the things that you'll need. And then of course, black paint or whatever paint you wanna use. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what it ends up looking like. I have two real pumpkins over here and then three fake ones over there. Um, I thought I would really like this white pumpkin, but it actually looks more yellow. And so I'm not a fan. <laughs> I wish I would have had more white pumpkins to put on this side. Um, but yeah, super cute. We've already kind of like gotten it a little bit dirty, but this is what it looks like. And hope you guys love this DIY and we're able to make one too. <laughs> 